Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 Minute Biographies. The work of ministry varies greatly depending on the envir environment for ministry. For example, overseas mission work varies from pastoral work. It varies because of the person as well, whether they are a teacher or an evangelist or a helper or administrator. And ministry varies because of the people around, for example, what sort of age they are, their occupations and so on. When you consider those in ministry that you have had contact with or have had influence over your life, you can understand what I'm saying. Let me introduce you to a pastor who was both a great teacher, even though he thought not, and also a great evangelist, again, even though he thought not. This pastor is Andrew Bonnar. Bonnar was born in Edinburgh, Scotland in 1810, and even though he grew up in a Christian home, it wasn't until his 20s and at theological college that he, ha he had assurance of his salvation. He started in ministry as an associate pastor at St George's Church in Edinburgh and then on to a Presbyterian church in Collis, where he served for 18 fruitful years. During those years, there was great revival in the churches in Scotland, but also great tensions as churches separated themselves from the modernistic tendencies of the Presbyterian Church, as well as protesting the interference of civil courts in the proceedings of church affairs. In 1856, Bonnar became the pastor of a new church in a needy area of Glasgow. Before too long, what started with a small congregation became a church of over 1,000 members. Bonnar was known as the minister with the laughing face. He had a great sense of humour and believed that, it, that laughter was good medicine. But he also believed in the importance of visiting his congregation in their homes. He once wrote to a friend, There is blessing resting on visiting. What better way to make us know the state of our flocks? He visited people every afternoon and often walked great distances to accomplish this. Bonnar, Bonnar also spoke about the importance of spiritual disciplines, especially prayer. And he acknowledged that he spent too little time in prayer and wrote, I see that prayerlessness is one of my great sins of omission. I am too short, ask too little, and ask with too much want of forethought. He even stated that ministry and writing would sometimes distract him from the greater work of prayer. Bonnar also had a great emphasis on evangelism. He kept a text in his study in the original Hebrew of Proverbs 11.30 which says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and whoever captures souls is wise. Despite his own perceived shortcomings, Bonnar achieved great things for God's kingdom, and I'm sure there are a great many people in eternity because of the preaching, prayer, visitation, and good humour of Andrew Bonnar. Let me close with an excellent quote from Bonnar. The best part of Christian work is the part that only God sees. God bless.